You guys, you guys, I figured it out. I figured it out. Oh, it's so exciting, Tate. Oh, I know this is not the most exciting thing in the world, but I figured out how we're going to finish building our smeltery. And I'm so proud of myself because I was like, oh my gosh, it's going to take me forever. Because I realized I didn't have any extra sand because I purify and sort all of our sand for biofossils. And I was like, oh no, it's going to take me forever. I'm going to have to go get more sand. It's going to be a pain in the rump so that we can make more of our awesome smeltery bricks because we need these bricks to make the controller. You need these little like seared bricks. And then I remembered I had something, a treasure. A treasure from Twilight Forest, you guys. And this is it, the uncrafting table. So what I have done is I came down to the uncrafting table, threw in the bricks, and then I was able to get, oh, I need, I need XP, I think, I need XP. Let's eat our XP berries. I'm able to get, thanks to the XP, nom 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 nom, Come here, XP. We're gonna we're gonna end up using you for this instead, which is kind of awesome in my opinion. Nom 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 nom. But we better not we better not be too excessive with it. All right. And then what you can do is you can put in the extra seared bricks we have, and you can get out. Ooh, it all just cost four, dude. I am fine with that. There we go. There we go. Nice. Oh, it's gonna cost me four every time. Okay, there we go. And just like that, we have got our seared bricks because we uncrafted these extra seared, like the, the constructed sear brick blocks. We uncrafted them. I'm so proud. I totally forgot about our own crafting table. You can put basically anything uh, that's not, not from tinkers. You can't put the tinkers items in it, but you can put like the steel shears in there and you can get the like diamonds back out of diamond tools. You can get the steel leaves back out of steel leaves. So it's really useful and I totally forgot about it. Just 110%. Tastes like creeper. And what we're gonna do, and I know it, I know, I know it's not the most exciting, but I am so proud of myself. We're going to make the smeltery controller. Oh, calf would be so proud of me. And I also, when I when I uh, crafted one of the blocks, got our own mighty smelting book, so we can take Calf's book back to him. There we go. So now we have the smeltery controller, and then we need a smeltery drain, and we need a faucet. And I think the faucet is just, yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh, we have almost got this. I am so proud. I am so proud. I really didn't think that would happen that fast. All right, there we go. More blocks. Okay, come over here. And then we need, yeah, we need a drain, pretty sure. All right, and then I wanted to add a lot of windows in. So where's my glass? There's my glass. And I wanna add in a lot of windows so we can see what's going on inside of our smeltery. Plus it uses, let's see, let's do this. Uh, let's do two of them since I have enough XP. Thank you very much. Then come over here. And we tuck these guys right here, put the glass in. There's another glass one and another one. All right, we can leave all these here for just a second. We'll be back, we'll be back. Tate, like all the animals are like, what are you doing? She's being so weird today. All right, so now we've got our controller and I think that that guy needs to go right here. I'm pretty, whoops, no, not right there. Pretty sure that's where Calf keeps his. Like right here. Whoops. Ooh, okay, there we go. And that tells us what's inside the smeltery. Where's our glass pieces? Because I kind of want to, like, see, I want to be able to, like, look and see what's inside of our smeltery. And we're going to have to make sure we make it tall enough that our animals, see, the, the, the chickens are, they approve of this experiment. So we're going to have to make sure it's tall enough that our animals won't wander in. All right, so next up we need, uh, where does the drain go? And what does the drain need to sit over? Hmm, okay, one second. I've got to do another, another, okay, there we go. Drains function as input output for the tank. If you need to get liquids back into the structure, simply pour them into a drain. Okay, so that's useful. Um, let's see, controller. Oh, a tank, I needed a tank, not a drain. Oh man, I guess we wasted some of the bricks, but we're getting there, we're getting there. So let's see, let's go get a tank. Where is a tank, 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 tank. There we go, and I need this kind of tank, a seared tank. Oh, so we just need that surrounded by glass. Okay, we got this, guys. We're on this. I'm so excited. Ah, I know this is something I, I normally never focus on this kind of stuff, but I am very excited about it because it's going to help us so much 
with having Ooh, there we go thank you so much my little experience berries you are awesome all right let's get some of these to finish up our project um, nom 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 that should be enough for now put those away all right and then let's see all right we need more bricks got them i think we need a little bit more not sure got them all right then we put one piece of oops hang on guys i'll be back for you uh one piece of glass in the middle right there oh technical things you know when you like build something yourself and you're so proud you're like yay i did it all right so there's our seared tank so let's see i gotta figure out where we put the tank so I'm glad this book has pictures. <laughs> it's just like a real instruction book where you're like, I really need the pictures. Help me pictures. All right. So it looks like they have the drain here, the controller there. That looks like one of the, um, yeah, that looks like it is, no, the drain, the tank, the tank and the controller. So let's match it up the way they have it because that'll make me feel better. So we're going to take this one out. I'm going to put the drain here. Oh, that, I don't know. Okay, we're going to just trust trust the picture and we'll just see what happens. All right, we're going to swap these around. So the controller here, the tank there. Oh, my goodness. We've got something going on here now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. What's going on? Okay, Um. now what do I do? All right. All right, let's see. We have the casting tables. We have the faucets. Um... And we can make these, oh, think about it, you guys. When we get there, we can make all these rare, like, ores and things. That'll be so cool. Just to do it, you know, just to make them. All right, what's going on over here? So there's a casting table. And here's a drain. So we need to set it up like that. Um, the seared glass, yep, yep, yep. Casting channel. Okay. Brownstone, seared stone, clear glass, and stone, glue balls. Oh, it's almost overwhelming with all the choices. Oh, my gosh. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see, we're gonna put, we wanna make this nice and big and we wanna make sure the animals don't fall into it. So there's that. A few more there. I wanna put glass there. Then right here and here, whoops, here, here, there we go. Is that, does that do it? And then we need a casting table and a faucet. Is this how we set it up? Faucet, maybe? I feel like the faucet needs to be not just not just right there it needs to be like against a drain or something i'm pretty sure the drain needs to have the faucet behind it 99 mm, percent sure that's how i would do it you can't just stick a faucet on like straight up bricks and expect something to happen so let's swap this around a little bit all right come here you we're gonna put what hey 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 that's right that's right there we go okay so seared bricks there and then i am pretty darn sure we need the drain like right here and the faucet. That looks much better. See, that looks like the pieces match up together. Then we put a casting table under it. I I have a better vibe from this. This is uh, coming together more what I, I assume would need done to build such a thing. All right, so are we are we doing good? Do I have it kind of set up now? Okay, let's, okay, maybe I should read the instructions for once. Uh, large liquid tank, mixing metals, various things. Ores naturally have more material in their processed versions, such as ingots. This smeltery will preserve the full value, uh, roughly twice as much as a regular furnace. If you need more space to process metal, add more layers. Casts are made differently from patterns. Details are found later. Multi-block structure. We have the controller. Check. Tank. Check. Seared bricks. Check. Any combination of seared bricks, seared tank, or drains. Check. Faucet. Check. Casting cable. Check. All right. We got that all set up. All right, got that set up. Uh huh. We have the hollow shell of three by three. See, it really is. It feels just like pulling out instructions for a toy that you get during Christmas or something, or like your new computer, and you're like, oh, I've got to set all this stuff up. All right, so let's see. Uh, place the controller one layer up and the lava tank anywhere on the same level. Fill in the rest of the space with seared bricks. Blah blah blah. End of the drain should be the small ends of the drain should be facing outside yes if you're successful the controller will light up and start working fill the tank with lava the smeltery with metal and watch it go all right so we put um so which one's which okay smeltery and tank tank how do i fill you with lava 
Do I just like right click on you with lava? This seems like it could be the dangerous part. I think we're getting closer though. So let's go ahead and cap this off up here. Let's see, and then we're gonna put a glass layer right here as well because I still want to be able to see into it because that would be so cool. Oh, thank you so much chickens. Our lab chickens are just on top of laying the eggs today. I think they're happy to have more company. Though Artemis is probably getting lonely up in the, the kitchen. So we'll go visit with Artemis in just a little bit. All right, and then we're gonna come over here. Eh. Okay, I need more seared bricks. Oops, which means I need to eat more essence berries. So we have the essence to do it. Hello, Nightlock, how are you doing, my handsome cat? There we go. All right. Man, that is so lucky that we managed to figure out the uncrafting table, because I was like, oh man, so much gathering. I love the gathering, but there's so many other things like messing with the quagga and taking care of the other animals that I really want to do. So that was just going to slow me down for a while. So this is exciting that we can get it done so fast. I didn't expect to be able to do this. All right, there we go. Got more glass. I hope this works. If it doesn't, I'm going to be a little embarrassed, but you know, you got to be new at something sometime. So this is lit up and now we need lava. 99% sure I've got a, a thing of lava sitting around somewhere. If not, I can just let Lily loose because Lily always seems to find the lava. Um, Various supplies. I've got a bunch of buckets. Do I have lava just sitting in one of my backpacks? You never know what you might need, you guys. You never know what you might need. All right, do I have lava anywhere? Let's see. Hmm, sand, cave formations, rare waters, uh, clay, DNA, or bone bits, let's see, treasures of the nether, lava! I found lava from the nether, no less, so maybe it's super potent lava. All right, let's come down here. How to, oh, I hope this works. Oh, thank goodness, I really thought we were going to, like, have lava all over the floor for a second there. All right, so it's not a lot of lava, so we're going to have to find a source of lava, but it's definitely a start. Oh, by the way, there's a giant cave right here. <laughs> there is literally a giant cave just right past these blocks. I found it while I was uh, expanding this area, and we might actually poke around in that cave today because I would love to see what's over there before something bursts through the wall and scares me to death. All right, so let's pop up here. Meow! I love our cats. I love all of our animals. And let's grab some raw ores. And we are always needing iron. Do I have iron? No. I don't even have iron. All right, well, let's stick some gold in there and let's see how much more gold. Because that just seems so cool. We can get, watch out, lab chicken. If we stick our gold in the smeltery, what happens? Do I have everything? Is it all working? Do I need more fuel? Is stuff happening? Oh, look at it! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness gracious! This is a little exciting. I like this. What do you think, Lab Chicken? Hmm? I think this is kind of fun. Do we need more fuel? Oh, no, it's doing something! Oh, I guess I need a little, like, pattern or something. To have, like, what do you what do you call them? You call them, um, no, cast. So I need, I need an ingot cast to be able to get anything. I need bricks? Is that what, is that what you're telling me? I just, I need, I need, okay, how do I, how do I make a cast? Ooh, questions and questions. All right, so we're going to stare at the, the melting gold for just a second. One momento, because this is actually, how on earth? I need, yep, a casting, okay, yeah, I've got a casting table. Check. I'm looking it up on my phone real quick, guys. I almost never do this, but let's see. Oh, man. <laughs> And, okay, hang on. Stencil table. Oh, it just keeps going. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, hang on one second, guys. I'm going to figure out how we can get our ingot cast. One second. <sighs> okay, so this may turn out wrong and totally silly, and it seems like a little bit of a waste of gold, but I think if we put an ingot there and then open this up and then we wait for it to cool... Then oh, we got the ingot cast, you guys. Oh, that was much easier than I thought it was. So you just had to put the ingot in. Oh, and we got the seared brick back. Are you kidding me? That was awesome. And then you put the ingot cast down, turn it on. It pours in. <laughs> got to cool it off. And we got, we have a gold ingot just like that. Oh my gosh. And look at the melted gold. Isn't that so cool? Oh my goodness. And how are we doing on fuel? Can I check my fuel? Not bad, I think. I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. 
I love it. And I can see us expanding uh, eventually to the other sides. Oh my gosh. I mean, this can get kind of addictive. This is very relaxing. I like this. And I was thinking, actually, it would be really fun if when we work over onto this side, we could make like a fire cave with fire crystals and fire related animals because there's some mo creature animals that are like fire demons. And if we could gather those guys up and have like a little fire, tiny little fire cave with an infinite source of lava that we could just keep collecting from to fill this up. Oh, I love how we have like this whole underground like research center world spreading. Oh, it's just so so cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. So what next? What next? Ugh, I don't really need to work on the tools right now. Experiment 626. I just really wanted to get the smeltery built and we have done that. And I am so happy with the results. Experiment 626. Uh, let me see. We still have a lot of the casting basins and tools. The basin, I think, is if we want to make like uh, blocks, blocks of things which might work a little faster than doing the gold ingots. But let's see, where could I put the basin? We could make another drain and put like the basin over here and then have it drain out uh, to make blocks. But I kind of like how smooth and clean it looks from this point of view. So maybe we'll just work on expanding over there. And that might actually be what we do, Tate. So stay here. Oh, Tate, Tate, you're getting hungry. Do I have anything to feed you? Oh, I need to run into town and get some dog food soon. Oh my gosh. All right, or get some fish from upstairs because they, they got a lot of fish for us. All right, so that is now the way that we can collect ingots, and I'm very happy with that. Oh, and let's grab this copper chest, actually. And we're going to go downstairs. There we go. And we are going to put this copper chest right here for now. And we're going to put all of the smelting things, and I'm going to put Calf's book back. We're going to give him his book back, but I'm going to put all the smelting things in here for now. So that's that's pretty darn fun. That is so cool. I'm so proud of us. Look at what we did. Look at what we did. We've got some gold melting in there. Let's go get the rest of our gold. Let's go get the rest of our gold. Oh, it's raining outside. I can hear it raining. All right, and we'll go put all the gold down in there. Ooh, and our oreberry bushes are already ready to harvest again. Nice. Nice. And actually, okay, I gotta carefully get these. Carefully get you. And actually, what you do, I wonder if the orberry bushes can go. I wonder if there's gold. We don't have any gold orberry bushes. What? Are there gold orberry bushes? What are all the different orberry? <gasps> there are, and I don't have any. Are you kidding me? We're going to have to, like, speak with a tinker in town. I wouldn't mind spending a day trading with a tinker. Um, but here's a bunch of iron ore berry bushes, or iron ore berries. Let's take it downstairs and see if we can throw it in the smeltery too. I don't want to like mix the ores too much though. Hmm. Can I, can I put these in here? Oh, I can! Oh my goodness. Okay, quick, yank it out. I don't want to mix them just yet. I don't know if we want to do that. And there we go. We just threw a whole bunch of gold ore in. And I guess we can put all of the ores and ore berries down here now because we are going, no, Professor Cow, don't get in there. That would, that would be awful. That would be horrible, Professor Cowplant. Oh my goodness. So we will have to raise the, uh, the whole thing a little bit higher too so that our animals don't wander in there. Oh my gracious. But just really quickly, hmm, we've got a really full inventory though. I was going to say we could explore the cave really quickly. That's back here. I'll show you guys. There is a cave. I swear there's a cave. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there is a cave back here, and I don't want the animals getting into it because they'll they'll get lost and die. Oh, it's so dark. Help. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, there we go. But there is a cave back here that we're going to have to explore and figure out. Because who knows? I'm tired of, of, like, putting ourselves on top of dangerous caves. Oh, good. There's some gravel. I could make more seared bricks with that. Oh, this is really addicting. No wonder Cap. <gasps> oh, I thought it was an essence berry bush. It was just a. It was just a mushroom. All right, what's going on down here? All right, so we've got we've got a good old cave uh, cave system going on under our house again. So we will have to explore this a little bit, but I bet we'll save that for another rainy day, when it's just a rainy day and we're not sure what to do here at the zoo. Then we will come back down here and spend a little bit of time exploring. So far, it doesn't seem like it has many monsters. Nothing too deadly, nothing too dangerous. I see a lot of glowing mushrooms. 
I see some orberry bushes. I'm going to harvest that puppy in just a second. Hmm. But it definitely continues on. So we're definitely going to have to... Ooh, orberry bush. I get so excited about these orberry bushes. I gotcha. But we're definitely going to have to do a little bit more exploring down here because it's security matters. You don't want to put your home on top of something super duper dangerous. Also, I hope I can find my way back out. My goodness. Okay. All right, guys. Well, there we go. We have got our smeltery up and going. I am so proud. That is normally the <gasps> essence berry bush. Yes. More to add to the essence berry bush garden. So happy. So happy. And I'm going to get this ore. Come here, you ore. I've got new, new smeltery to put you in. All right. But yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything too dangerous under here. But there's a lot of stalactites and stalagmites. So, you know, we might we might look into expanding into this area for our orberry bush gardens. We're going to have to figure it out. All right, there we go. Yeah, I think we explored it pretty good, except for that cavern down there. But yeah, no monsters. Good. Always a good thing when you learn there's no monsters hiding under your home. Always makes you feel kind of cheerful and safe. Like you're not sitting on top of some, some awful nether portal that will just explode in your face. There we go. All right. I feel, I feel much reassured now. And that means we can get back to focusing on our animals. So thank you so much, guys. I know it was a bit of a deviation away from the norm. But I was just really excited to be able to, like, build something. Because normally I'm like, calf, help, calf, help. And I really wanted to just take charge and, and figure out how to put this together myself. And it was fun to be able to work with the Dragon's Hold Village mm. so that we could get this from them. Because that was just really cool. And it was really cool to be able to use the uncrafting table to get here. High five, Professor Cowplant! High five! Right? Right? Ah, oh, so cool. But alright, guys, we will get back to our quagga and back to working on all of our amazing projects tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for joining us. If you could, please help me feed the animals by leaving a like. I know that seems awkward, but it's it really honestly does help me feed the animals. The real-life animals, too. And we're going to have to make sure we add another layer so that our, our wonderful animals don't jump in there. Quite worried about that experiment, 626. You guys have too much curiosity, and I don't want to come back to a bunch of blood in our smeltery. Mm-mm. All right, everybody, I will see you tomorrow bright and early, and we're going to move the quagga. Ah, very exciting tape. Very exciting. See you in the morning, guys. Bye-bye.